Hey friends, I'm out in my garden right now and I wanted to film a little bit of a video before things get too far along. <laughs> um, if you guys are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I mainly post grocery hauls on Sundays, but I'm starting to get more into gardening and like my health, weight loss journey, all of that. So I figure that having a garden is part of that journey. So my husband is building me a fence around my garden. Last year, let me actually turn you around. Um, I am on my phone right now, by the way, too. So I'm sorry if the quality isn't the best here. Um, my camera battery is charging. So when I actually get into more of planting, um, I'll have the better quality. But I just wanted to get this going right now. So my garden last year was from here where the fence is until right before the shovel, like right here. So it is like double that way. <laughs> <laughs> and it stopped right here. Actually, there's a rock stone right here. And it went there. Like this was all it was. So this year it is much, 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 much bigger. And the little critters kept eating my broccoli and everything last year. So we decided to build a fence this year. And I just did this today. Just made this stone pathway. And if I Finley's playing by the way, if I back up, this is going to have two um doors. My husband's making and he has to put the chicken wire still over there and over there um it's over here but he had the wrong staples so we couldn't finish this yesterday but i'm going to be planting carrots and lettuce and spinach today because you can do that before the last frost and i'm going to be planting them right there so like i said today i did this stone and this stone was actually over on the other side of these trees and they had like a little area up there and I decided my husband wants to do grass right there. So I'm all about repurposing things. Also, if you guys are new here, we purchased this house last year. So this is like the second summer or second garden we're able to do. And I've learned so much last year from gardening. So we decided to make it much bigger. But yeah, I repurposed all of this. I'm going to give you a little mini tour here. Over here is going to be my zucchini, yellow squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, um, I'm probably going to plant either green beans right here or cucumbers. So I'm trying to do the plants that are shorter over here. And then over here is going to be um, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, probably a couple more over there. And then all the tomato plants are going to be the row behind that. And then the two, we're going to have two or three rows of corn back here. And the reason why, hey buddy, <laughs> the reason why they're going to be back there is because the sun goes from this way to this way and because they're so tall i don't want them <laughs> i don't want them um hovering over other plants um that thing was actually the filter for the pond we used to have over back there behind the uh trees and i'm gonna repurpose that i think i'm gonna grow some like peas or something in it it has like super tiny holes so i think i can i mean i could always line it but i don't even think i need to honestly so once the chicken wire is on there it'll sit up like this so we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but maybe I'll just put like tools, like my gardening tools in there. Anyway, so I just made this path. I haven't um, dug this up yet to make these level. I just set them down for like the shape I want to go for. So I did this and that goes all the way over here. And there is about, I don't know if you can tell, but there's about four or five feet to the fence. And I don't want to put anything there because I think I'm going to do some green bees and peas right there. But all of these are raspberries. So they get kind of bushy. We cut them down probably by two thirds because most of it was dead. But over there, I found a galvanized tub. The bottom's a little crusty, but I'm not worried about that. I haven't decided when I'm going to grow in there yet. I'm thinking maybe I got to figure out how how much space you need for sunflowers. But I was thinking maybe sunflowers in the corner. I think that would be really pretty to have beautiful sunflowers in the back corner of the garden. Anyway, so let me back up a little bit. It's kind of hard because I'm on my phone. So if you're wondering what those things are, they have to dig this. <laughs> my husband accidentally took out the cable line when he was digging that hole to put a post there. So they have to come in and dig a trench. So that's why I'm not planting anything like right where that line is. <laughs> But they're going to have to work around it or I'm going to have to have them bury it after my season, my garden season is over because I don't want yeah, them ruining my plants. Pieces. Yeah. But over in this quadrant here, we're going to be doing pumpkins, watermelon, and cantaloupe. There is lots of space. I feel like you can't really tell how big it is here, but that should be more than enough space for that. Because I say, I think for watermelon, watermelon is typically like seven feet of space they want you to have for one plant. 
I don't know if that's correct, but so anyway, let's go back over here. This is kind of all over the place, so I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so that's the front gate, and that's where I'm going to have the cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever else right there, and then the second row is going to be tomatoes and then corn, and I started building this little thing out just so I can access the tomatoes easier, but I don't really need because we have so much... I can get stuff from over on that side of the fence. So I think I should be good there. I might put in a tomato plant here, but there's enough room for a couple more plants here before we put the other plants. But yeah, that's gonna be there. I think I already said this, but this is gonna be all my squash over here. I think I'm gonna put some green beans over here. Another thing of peas. And then there's actually a trellis right there. I think I'm gonna do cucumbers again on there. I did cucumbers on that trellis last year and they worked out really, really well. So I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know. All of the things like green beans, peas, all that that I can trellis, they all climb. So I do have some bush beans though, which I won't need to climb, but anywho, I don't know. We'll see how this uh, all comes along. And then this picnic table, obviously it's missing the other side. It was really crusty. It used to be right over there uh, outside the kitchen window when we bought the house and I decided to repurpose it. And my husband cut it down and I found all these pots that they had laying around the property when we bought the house. So I'm going to repurpose all these pots. I'm gonna have chives, cilantro, and other herbs or whatever I can grow there. And then since the line's probably gonna be right here, they're gonna have to dig that, see that white, fl white flag? That's where they're recommending the trench go, so like a foot over from here. Um, I won't plant anything there. I won't plant anything right here. I'm not going to plant anything, basically this. This will be like its own little walkway so I can get to this table because I'm going to be having a lot, lots more pots. I'm going to plant some flowers today too. Um, I think it's the Cosmos. Something I can plant before the last frost. It just can't be a heavy frost. And I think I'll be set to plant those. But anywho, so today I am planting right here. So I'm going to be planting two rows. And my two rows are going to be this out. Uh, my sister gifted me a gift card to Baker Creek uh, Heirloom Seeds and they're a great company. Today I'm going to be planting these coral carrots. These are frost resistant so I'm able to plant these early and then I'm able, hang on buddy, I'm able to plant, I'm going to be planting this Butter Crunch and the Butter King and then I'm also going to be planting, um, I can plant these right now too, some spinach. And then these are the Cosmos that I can do before the heavy frost. So I might plant that in one of the buckets. I think it'd be really nice to have uh, some flowers right there on the table too, just to kind of make everything colorful and nice. But I just laid a little bit of fertilizer down. Um, I'm gonna push that into the soil, marry that all up. And then I found these, another repurposing thing. I found these sticks in the yard and I just wrote coral carrots and I put spinach, butter crunch, butter king. So spinach is gonna be all the way to the fence. And then, you know, um, I might put spinach on the other side here where the carrots are and continue on that row. And then when I'm done with these packets, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but I like to put them through this, uh, through the thing right here so they stick there or you can staple them or whatever. But yeah, this is what, what are you doing? I put spinach. I'm gonna do a butter crunch and then butter king. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant this and get this going. This is the second part of my little garden tour. <laughs> I filmed the first part a couple days ago. Sorry if it was, I was kind of all over the place. I had the kids, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna show you all, I showed this in my grocery haul on Sunday, but um, I wanna show you guys my starts. I have broccoli, cabbage, tomatoes. Um, this is a dahlia that I wanna, plant here in a little bit, um, bell peppers, more tomatoes. And then I didn't have to start these really, I could put them right into the ground, but I decided, actually I decided to just kind of play around with it and see what pops up. And it's like my experimentation year because I didn't really do any starts or anything last year. But anyway, I did some peas, green beans, some extra of the peppers, broccoli, and tomatoes, since those are producing so well over there. I can give these away. Um, some peas, watermelon, pumpkins, tons of squash, zucchini, yellow, spaghetti, and butternut. I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you all my flower okay, So first things first, over here is right outside the back door. Um, we are going to be doing concrete here and just bringing that to the brick because it looks, it's so shaded that it just, we tried to plant grass here and it lived for like a couple months and then it died. There's just no sun here. So 
we're gonna just bring the concrete and then we can put the grill over there and whatnot and then I have my hanging baskets which I'm gonna plant you know once there's no frost I'll plant some annuals in there and then over here is what we've been working on this if you guys remember I'll try to find a picture um, it was beautiful green grass, but like my husband said before, he didn't do it like properly, so it just kind of died off. And then this all has to be reseeded and rolled and all of that, but the pond used to be right there. And then this stuff has to get burned and or thrown out. I'm This was a huge pile of just junk, and I used most of the rock up. So we're going to finish using that rock up today for another flower bed. But this is the flower bed that I worked on the other day. It's not perfect. I want to put them into the ground a little bit more. So I just kind of set them here to see what it would look like. Really, Lucy? <laughs> um, but in this flower bed, I don't know what these bushes are called. They're starting to get some leaves on them, though. Some leaves over there, too. These are blueberry bushes. I don't know if you guys can tell. One is like a pink blueberry and one's like your standard blueberry, but I read having more than one plant or one variety makes them like cross pollinate or whatever. But I need to figure out what I want to put here. I think I want to put maybe some hostas. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing, but nothing too big because I think these, the blueberry bushes will get a pretty decent size. So then over here, which I have to water today, planted some daisies. The strawberries used to be in this bucket. If you guys remember my videos from last year and I transplanted them we bought this off a guy at Facebook marketplace he made it for us one less thing for Justin to do really <laughs> um, but I transplanted all my strawberries here gave some away to my in-laws and then my neighbor so yeah this is the strawberry bed and I'm gonna bring you guys back here we're gonna be turning this trampoline today as well so the front of it um, starts right there instead of over uh, back there my husband's building stairs for it so um yeah we want to have that turn it like push it more towards the fence because it kind of is like protruding over here <laughs> and it's kind of on a hill that way so there is another project this is going to be all over the place guys and then i'll do an update video maybe in a month or two to see like what we've done but this is where the fire pit's going to be and i've been using a lot of the rock for the garden which i'll show you guys and then, yeah, we're gonna clean this up, get some mulch around these trees, just make it look better. And then we're gonna clean this up, get this all burned. And then over here, I put this on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, you should, before and afters of this. This didn't have the rock here before. We're just gonna do mulch in here for now because I'm not entirely sure what I want to put here if I want to put anything here or just do mulch because I don't think we're gonna have this tree for a super long time so I might just do mulch for now the two big willows in the back have to get cut down unfortunately they are pretty much dead <laughs> the crab apple tree is coming down too Lucy eats them and if you guys don't know apple seeds are like really bad for dogs so it's pretty but it's just it's got to go so we're gonna be taking that out the kids little play area over there like I said, the willows are eventually going to go. I don't know if we'll do it this year, but um, they definitely, they got to get cut down. So probably in the next year, they're, they are pretty, but they are messy as well. Anywho, cut back a lot of those raspberries along the fence there. And like I showed you guys in my little walkthrough here, I did the pathway and then I did end up planting some spinach and lettuce. Which I'll show you guys. So I planted the spinach and the lettuce here. I have to water these bad boys again today. I've been watering them every day. Lucy, get out of there. And then I did plant some cosmos in here, which I have to water as well. But I'm going to be planting cilantro and herbs and whatnot. One of them, I think I'm going to use the other white one. I brought this out. These dahlias I got from Meyer. These really pretty dahlias. So I'm going to plant those in a bucket, I think, this year. Anyway. They finally dug the line, by the way. I, don't know if I talked about this the other day. They came yesterday and dug the um, internet line or cable line. My husband's going to be doing this fence today. We got the staples from Home Depot this morning and bought a ton of mulch because mulch is on sale right now there and is actually cheaper than buying in bulk. 
So anyway, this tree also didn't have the rocks. I have to even them back out, but um, yeah, we're gonna do some mulch in there today. And then this just has raspberries along up until the garden fence. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up today, get all the leaves and all that out, but I don't know what I wanna plant here yet. So this might not be a this year project, but I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. Anyway, Lucy's just <laughs> running around. This I started to do, I have to clean this all up too. I have piles of leaves. This I put, and I wanna put it back there, well, over behind the tree. So I'm making this like its own garden. It's a bunch of really pretty flowers. And then I started with this, and this is what I wanna finish up today, using the big bricks from over there, bringing them over here, and finishing that up until the end. But I wanna show you guys what I did over here. I actually planted this rose bush, I don't know if you can tell, about a week or so ago. I have to water it again, but it does have some flowers on it, some flowering, I'm not really sure what you call it, but yeah got that going on and then over here we have to finish up the rock i found some more rock that we can go around the tree my husband built carl our resident chipmunk a picnic table yeah this is what we got going on so far hey friends day three of this video i just wanted to wrap it up i realized i didn't really do much of an outro <laughs> on that video so I wanted to do one quick update before I do that it's been a couple days since I filmed that last little clip outside it's been really chilly the last few days I did want to share my husband did build the gate for the garden it looks great we still have some things to do to finish up the fence but I'm not sure about that because I can't really plant anything for like probably at least another month or so for most things but I did want to update you on my little seedlings. It's not even been a week yet and um, they are thriving. <laughs> so the broccoli is doing great. Uh, these are the boxcar tomatoes and that is these ones, the ones that are just doing really, really well. And this one over here is another boxcar tomato. It's just doing so well. And I gave one to my mother-in-law as well. But so those are coming up and then it looks like I have some peas. I don't see any of the squash, but look at almost all, all of the peas have popped up. I'm sure that one will pop up soon. And then these are the Kentucky Wonders. I believe this is uh, green beans. So there's one there and one there. And then these are the King Tut peas and they are like purple. They're very beautiful. I got them from the Baker Creek company that I talked about in the first little bit there. But yeah, look at a couple others popping up. I can't believe it. <laughs> There's so many popping up already. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little mini update on that. And these little guys are just still thriving. Look at this dahlia. And last time I showed it, it wasn't even half the size, I feel like. But I gotta get these watered. My broccoli's doing wonderful. This is cauliflower. Another cabbage over there. Yeah, everything is doing really, really well. Don't mind all my laundry back there. It's laundry day. I fold all my laundry on the couch and then bring it up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little introductory garden tour. I'm going to update maybe like once a month or once every couple weeks, depending on how things are progressing and growing and, you know, all that fun stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my garden videos or me planting the garden or my plan around where I'm planting things, stuff like that, let me know. I would love to do more videos like that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.